the most hated man in the UK. And no, guys, I'm not talking about P. Philly. Afternoon, everybody. Now. Right. What's the problem? What's your problem? Yeah. The holy for traffic down Get there. There's no cars down here. You touch me again, I'll smack you. Oh, you're going to smack me? Hey. Okay. Wow. Fuck. Call 999, please. Da what is this guy you doing? Be driving on me. This man has been run over. This man has had people try and chase him down. This man has had water thrown in his face. This man has had people challenge to fight him. This man has been assaulted multiple times. I'm talking about the one and only Cycling Mikey. Let's get into this. Fuck a plan B, cut a plan A, be working. A question to the ones that left. Was it worth it? If you don't like this video, then your name is P Philly. If you don't like this video, then you're then you have to go to a Philly party. You gotta go to a Philly party. Not even a Diddy party. You gotta go to a Philly party, which is worse. So Michael Van Ert, better known as Cycling Mikey, is a Dutch born immigrant who hold on. Let me what am I reading here? So he was born in he was born in the Netherlands, he was born in Holland, and he moved to Zimbabwe. When he was young he grew up in zimbabwe i thought it was south africa he's an immigrant in the uk from zimbabwe so this guy is not even a uk citizen this guy is a zimbabwean dutch immigrant doing this in london and essentially what he does is he goes to areas specifically around hyde park regents park and i know this because i used to drive through hyde park nearly every day when i used to go to uni i used to drive through hyde park and i'd see him from time to time what this guy does is he cycles around with a camera he's a cyclist he cycles around with a camera on his head and he records people who are on their phone now this guy's father was killed by a drunk driver so i have sympathy for him there but as far as of what i can read up as far as i can see his father was killed in Zimbabwe. Rest in peace to your father. Rest in peace. He didn't deserve to be killed. Drunk drivers should all be taken off the road 100%. It's not like he's getting people who are on the motorway using their phones or texting on the motorway. He goes for people who are sitting in traffic. And I know where he does it. He does it in Hyde Park. There's always traffic getting out into Hyde Park. He's where people are on their phones because the traffic moves so slow. It takes so long to get out of Hyde Park. And he films people using their phones in traffic while they're moving at like one mile an hour, not moving at all. You haven't seen the viral videos yet? guy's got an ego man look it's a shit rainy day in london everybody's just cold it's shit it's raining you like it <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's funny <laughs> <laughs> he's delighted with you <laughs> that guy's a legend you have to go around that side come out the way please no no you have to go that side we're turning right yeah it doesn't matter I, he's you're lucky you haven't passed the sign right Oh, oh my god, look at this. Look what he's done now. He's got people in the middle of the road. He's got a car out in the fucking well, pavement now. Right. What's the problem? When it's your problem? The holy for traffic down Get there. Off. There's no cars down here. You're going. Oh. You go. Get on. Touch me again, I'll smack you. Oh, you're going to smack me. Hey, bro, in self defense. You're going to put on your left <laughs> Uh, this picture just ended racism. Look at the, how the blacks and the whites can unite against a common enemy. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, you you don't do walk, walk around like, like that. Come on, get out of the way. You walk no, around you like back. that, do Just you? go back. Why you're lucky, you got a you're lucky you haven't passed the keep less sign or you'll be going to court. Can you please get out of the way? Just go back and go around. Can you please get out of the way? Let's have a selfie together, right? There we go. Yeah. You're you're not seriously seriously have you not seen the doctors here? I seriously, get out of the way, He got done for four points and a very big fine. You know what? You, you, why don't you get a job instead of trying to self-police the world? <laughs> now, a lot of people always say, does this guy have a job? Does this guy have a life? What does this guy do? Well, this guy actually works for a wealthy Pakistani family as a carer. And I actually have some respect for him after seeing this. That's the culprit there. But apparently he works for a very wealthy Pakistani family and he takes care. He's a carer for their um, special needs child, man, which I like. That's really great. It's really great. You got him... Got him a nice moment with the guard. The, if you if you ain't been to my city before, please don't fuck with these guys because these guys will really just. You, you could be a. I think the only exception is if you're literally a newborn baby. If, but if you can stand on two feet and you get in these guys' way, just just don't, just don't, <laughs> just don't. Okay, really don't. They they don't look real, but they are very real. That sword is very ready to be used. If somebody tried to attack Buckingham Palace, I'm telling you, you'll see you'll see real shanking activities in, i'm telling you beautiful moment but this zimbabwean immigrant just needs to we need to stop the boats and we need to send this guy back all right like i swear i need to go, like nigel farage keeps going on about stop the boats bro send send this guy back 
Send send him back. Send him back. Come on, Nigel Farage. I voted for you for a reason. Send him back. Keep this guy though. He's a, he's a legend. Living legend, man. Come on. Okay, <laughs> you're going down then. <laughs> X-ray one six. <laughs> You'll go to court. Go back. Go back. Go back. Look, you got people going on the pavement. Do I need to call the police then? Look, look. He's made three cars go over the he's made he's made three cars go over the pavement and he's made look at this. This guy's reversing now while there's a car behind him. Like this guy, this is why people don't like him because at this point, it's about ego. It's not about keeping people safe. It's about ego. If it was about keeping people safe, you'll just say, hey, you shouldn't have done that. It's safer for you to go like. Yeah, yourself too. Both drivers paid for and attended a driver course as an alternative to being prosecuted. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. They always do that. Just cabbies. They do what they don't, honestly. So my man, this guy, this is you're 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 just this guy's the ops. The black cabs are your ops, bro. You've got Uber drivers versus black cab drivers. Of course he's gonna agree. Like you're you're just sliding on his ops for him, bro. And in the UK, it is illegal to be on your phone while you while the vehicle's on. You know, it is illegal to be fair. And the reason people can't stand him is not because he's out here exposing them. It's because it's leading to prosecution. I don't know how it works in other countries, but in the UK, we have a point system on driver's licenses. If you get caught speeding, it's three points. If you get caught like speeding, crazy, reckless driving, they'll take your license away. If you get caught using your mobile phone, you get six points. If you get caught speeding, you, you usually get three points. If it's under a certain limit, you can get something called a speeding awareness course. You have to pay like a hundred pounds and they don't give you points. You can get points for no insurance. You can get points for multiple things. If you get 12 points on your driving license within four years, your license will be taken away and you have to redo your whole test again. And on top of that, when you get points on your driving license in the UK, it really increases your insurance. I can tell you this from experience because I currently have six points on my driving license and I got them right after my old points expired. So my insurance was down and now my insurance is back ridiculous again. If Cycling Mikey videos you holding your phone in the car while you're in traffic, you're in traffic and you're just looking at something quick or you're changing your song or you're checking your navigation and he gets that on video, he gets your number plate and he reports you and the police will prosecute you. The police will prosecute you for that and you'll get six points and like a couple hundred pound fine. But no one cares about the fine, it's the points. Jeez, why is this guy in Shepherd's Bush? Phone. Look at that, holding a phone. Nearly holding a phone. Oh man. What's up? Hi. I don't think you're meant to be holding a phone. I can see the screen's lit up too. The reason being is we are looking for a man. You need exactly. He's she's navigating! The woman is navigating. She's literally navigating. Her car does not have CarPlay. And I'm not sure if they changed the law. We'll see at the end of this one. I think they did change the law because a lot of people, when they went to court for using their phones, they'll just say, I was using navigation. And they couldn't prosecute you for that. But I think they did change the law. It needs to be dash mounted. Otherwise, it's illegal. We don't have one. Then you have six points. Alpha, Foxtrot 07, Whiskey, Foxtrot Alpha. I reported the driver as usual, but I have no further information. In my opinion, very good evidence of phone driving, so I assume they met. What a wanker. What a wanker. You've stopped nothing. You've done nothing. You're just... Just a fucking wanker, man. Just a wanker. So this guy's in Lancaster Gate right now. He's near Queensway. Drama. Look at him. Wow. And he stops police. God damn. You know what it is, guys? Cycling Mikey reminds me of these, even though they're doing good business, these, these pedo hunters, like catching these nonces, trying to chat to the young things and that. They're not doing it for the right reason. Let me explain. You can just tell him and these pedo hunters, these catchers, they're just doing it for ego. They do it. It's like they get a power trip out of it. You're a helpless nonce. I'm gonna beat the hell out of you, which is good, but you're not doing it for the right reasons. You're just like, I can tell you're a weirdo. Same with Cycle and Mikey, man. Serious mental issues. They just do it for ego. They do it for power trip. These lot are no different to per the pedo hunters. 
and they're no different to police officers. Like they do, they're people who do it for ego, people who get power trips. That's how you judge someone. If someone's in a position of power and they act like a cunt when they don't need to because they've got the power, that shows you their true colors. Why do you need to act up? You're the one with all the power. What do you have to prove? You don't have to prove nothing. You're just doing it to boost your own ego because you're an insecure, pathetic little weasel. Little weasel. Whoever that was. One of these Man, guys called him a cunt. My YouTube audience is really interested to hear what you just said. Hey, Two chicken, eh? What? Two chicken, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, they said they didn't say anything, but hey, I mean, look at this guy. Uh -uh. Why are you driving into me? Why are you in the road? Just an ego boost, man. It's just an ego boost. Like, who, who, who's gonna risk it and run over to save what, to do what, to accomplish what? There's no end goal here. So the cyclist will disagree with me and say, "Oh, but he's breaking the law." Blah blah blah. What? Who's gonna risk getting run over for this shit unless they're on a power trip or they have an ego? That's my point. You think I'm getting run over to, to, just to tell someone to go to... Okay, if, you wanna, if you're going to try and run me over, mate, I'll get out the fucking way. Okay. Just like a wannabe police officer. When police officers go on power trips, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm like, look, listen, you're not a judge. I fear judges. I don't fear you, okay? A judge is the one who can say, you know what? You're, you're going in prison for the rest of your fucking life. You can't do that. You, you are a peon. You are a pawn for the judge. Okay? 999, please. You've done this. The no. lady's told me he's this already today. You can't keep doing it. Call 999, please. Da what is this guy you doing? He's driving on me. Do you touch me? I'll, I will smack you. Please. Do not touch me. You've done this. this your behavior is outrageous. Get off of the freaking car. He's not even where he. He's not even at the same place he was before. The guy's already made the turn. And this guy's still standing there. Uh, brother, you've got my man's number plate. You've got their faces. Go and report it to the police. Get the fuck out of the road. Simple. Get out of the way. Don't push me. Don't you punch dare push him. me. Don't you dare push me. Look at him standing in front of the car. Do not drive off. <coughs> hey, please, police, please, police. If you drive off, that's leaning the scene, of, leaving the scene of an accident. No, 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 you hit me. I'll show you. I'll show you back there. And I'm located at um, Avenue Road. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I would tell this guy. I would tell this guy to. I would tell this guy right where to go. If I was in this situation, I, I'd, I'd want to punch this guy more. Honestly. And the outer circle, Regent's Park. I'd say, who the fuck are you? Are you mad? Like you're gonna what? Who the fuck are you? To, I, I'd run him over. This guy's pissing me off. Yeah, you can me. This guy is um, driven. I'd happily me. fight you, mate. Hotel Victor. I'd happily Hotel fight you. Fox Trots, Oscar, Don't you fucking touch him. I'd happily fight you. Let's set up a boxing match, bro. I'll, I'll happily, I'd happily, I'd say, yeah, you want to fight me? Give consent on camera. My man's recording. Let's go. Let's go. What? You want to fight? Bang. F bang. Yeah. He's done. He's out. Bang. Bang. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Hello. Look at this. They, look at the police. Look at um, all this the, shit. The, the police car is here, so we're all right. Better known as online, Cycling Mikey has amassed a massive fan base on YouTube for hunting down bad drivers. Using a GoPro, he's caught more than a thousand motorists using their phones behind the wheel, leading to thousands of pounds, hundreds of thousands of pounds, in fact, in fines. Wow. Well done, Mikey. A hundred thousand pounds to Ukraine. Because that money's not here. That money's not being spent here. I promise you that. It's in Ukraine. Zelensky's got it. Or Zelensky's spending it in LA. It's in Ukraine. It's not here. This guy, like, you, you've raised a hundred thousand pounds over a hundred grand for Ukraine. Well done. As, how funny is this? A Zimbabwean immigrant living in London preys on London citizens people who were born and raised in this city for minor and he takes a hundred grand from civilians who are working hard and gives it to Ukraine.
I'm voting for Nigel. This is why people vote for Nigel Farage. Stop the boats. Stop the stop the boats. This immigration shit is not working. What is this? Like, if you really think about it, is is, is this not an advert for Nigel Farage? <laughs> What you fucking say to me? What you fucking say? It was a mistake. You fucking idiot! I fucking kill ya. You almost you killed me. You hit me. I'd fucking almost kill ya. If I kill ya, I'll fuck off. It was a fucking mistake, mate. I've got a motorbike on the inside. You on the fucking outside. Fuck off. Yeah, we'll see. What are you gonna fucking do? What are you gonna do? Okay. And you see the thing with drivers, yeah. There are some drivers who are dickheads, but the majority of us, except uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to go clean. I'm trying to build. I'm trying to clean up my brand image, so I'm not gonna say this. But the majority of us drivers, people who can drive, for those of you who get it, if we make a mistake, we're not gonna just sit there and act like nothing happened because we genuinely have no clue what happened. No. We'll know what happened and we'll actually apologise and acknowledge that we messed up. Or we'll just, like, look in shame, you know? But we'll acknowledge it. So for my man to be reacting like this, this guy's probably just not having any considerations. Anyway, guys, that is Cycling Mikey for you, the most hated man in the UK. If you guys are enjoying these type of videos, be sure to give the video a like, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're new as well for more content like this. Yeah. Peace.